In this week's tech tip, we will go through the options for sorting toolpaths in SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So if we go into our SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree or the CAMWORKS feature tree, you can see that we've got all of our features that have been created for two different setups. So one for the top and one for the bottom. If we go over into our SOLIDWORKS CAM operation tree, you can see that we've got a whole bunch of different toolpaths that have been created from our machining strategies. In each setup, you can see we've got different tool paths using different tools. We might want to sort these tool paths based on the tool that's being used. So one way we can do this is we can actually just drag and drop the tool paths in the order that we want to sort these in. So if I drag Rough Mill 2 to the top here, that's tool 2, and then it's using tool 1 all the way down to the end of the contours. It goes into drilling, so I might want to combine these so I can again drag these into place. This is a more manual process. If we have quite a few different tool paths, this might be more difficult to do. Another option that we can use is sorting automatically. So we would choose the setup that we want to sort, and you'll notice that we have a sort operations button that shows up in our command manager. If you've chosen a tool path inside of the setup, you'll notice that that button goes gray. So you need to choose the setup prior to choosing the sort operations. You can also right click on your mill part setup and there is the option of sort operations right within the right click menu. I'm gonna choose sort operations and we'll go into the sort tab. Inside the sort tab, we have two options to sort by. We've got the option to sort by operation type so based on the actual tool path type, or by the tool. So if we choose the tool for our sort by type, we can also say it would then by the operation type. So it's going to sort based on the tool and then by the operation type. Once we've got these selected, we can also reorder how it chooses these as well. So based on the tools, it's going to sort the tools by size, or by station number. So we can choose whichever we'd like. And you can also move these around. So if I want all my center drills to come together, I can drag those into place. Then I have my drills and then I have my countersinks. Same with the operation type. I might want to do my rough mill after my face mill, maybe my contours next, center drill, drill, and countersink. So again, based on the tool path that you're using, you can sort the operations and the tools. We can also save different schemes in our technology database, and then we can load different sorting schemes based on what we want to sort by. Once we've got all of our sorting schemes created, we can go ahead and press apply. When we press apply, you can see on the left hand side here that we've got everything sorted based on what I've chosen. You'll notice it did not sort my setup too, because we have to sort each setup on its own. So there is an option to undo. So if you aren't happy with how it's sorted, we can press undo. If you're happy with it, then we can just press the OK button. Again, if we want to sort setup two, we can go into sort operations or we can highlight setup two here and choose sort operations from the top. We'll go ahead and choose sort. And again, I'll do tool and then by operation type. So then I can sort these based on the order that I want to machine them in. So my center drills, and then I'll have my drills between the center drill and the countersink. So I can just move these into place. I can also sort by operation type again. So I'll move my rough mill, my contour mill, and then again, I'll press that apply button. So you can see again, the mill part setup too is on the left. This is where the schemes would come in handy. So if I was to save my first scheme inside of my technology database, I could have then loaded that scheme just by choosing the scheme and pressing the load button. So I'll press OK here, and now I've got all of my tool paths sorted. If you are looking to create a sorting scheme inside the technology database, we're going to click on the technology database. This will open our database, and then we'll again choose the machine type that we're cutting this with. So I'm using my mill inch machine, so mill. And then you can see inside the strategy list, we've got the sort operations button. So if I choose sort operations, we can see the schemes that have already been created. 
I can either copy one of these and rename it, or I can completely overwrite one of these schemes here as well. So this is the default scheme, scheme one. So I can rename that to whatever scheme I would like. I can move up and down the operations based on how I want to see these. So again, I had the rough mill after the face mill. So I would just basically move that rough mill up to the top. And then I would go ahead and save that. 